So in this video is going to explain how to create a table using Visual Basic. Um, the table I created using Visual Basic is the public representative table. So in this video I'll explain how to create the table, how to insert the data into the table, how to create its primary key and foreign key, and how to relate it to another table. So as you can see, the public representative table has a foreign key called entre ID, which is the primary key in the entrepreneur table. And you can see how they relate to each other here. So, firstly, the module to create the public representative table. So, as you can see here, we we uh, we create the table definition and we say we're going to call a public representative. So we create each field first. So PRID is going to be the name of the first field, and it's going to be of type DB long. Um, we're going to tell it to each time a new row is added to automatically increment new field by one. And then we append the field to the table. Uh, similarly, with the next field, which is f name, it's called f name, and it's type db text, and it has a length of 20. So basically, every field follows this convention. Monthly fee is of type db currency, and so on. So that's how you create the actual table. So, to insert the data into the table then, we basically create a record set for each row of data we want to uh, enter. Uh, we open the record set. We, uh, we tell it we want to add a new record. Then we sign each each uh, field its value, so PRID is 1, first name is Sean, so on, and uh, its entre ID is going to be 1, but at the moment it, it's not it's not related to that the entrepreneur table yet, we have to write another module to do that. So I pretty much follow the same convention all the way down for each row of data. This is done 20 times for 20 rows. So that's how you create a. That's how you insert the data into the table using the module. So the next thing you have to do is you need to create your primary key. So um, here we tell it the primary key we want to create for is on the public representative table. So we set IND to be to um primary key and we tell it that we want to append the field PRID and tell it that it's gonna be the primary key. So once you run that module you'll have your primary key create you'll have your primary key created. Uh, finally we have to create the relationships between the public representative table and entrepreneur table. So this module will do that. So we specify the primary key table first. So uh, here we we tell it what tables are we're going to create the link between. So between entrepreneur and public representative. And the primary key is the primary table is going to be the public representative, and the current table is going to be the entrepreneur table. And we have we have our constraints here, our update cascade, and our relation relation delete cascade, which ensures that uh, a parent. Can't be deleted as a child. So, 
So we create the field launcher ID and we tell it that this is going to be the foreign key of the public representative table. And then we append the field to the table. And then we have a little message to tell us that if the relationship was created. So that's how you create a table in Microsoft Access using Visual Basic. Thanks for watching.